Hello students today we will talk about the surface landmarks of the thorax now in this image you can see that this is the anterior view of your thoracic cage now in this thoracic cage you can see that this bone is actually your sternum now sternum is having three part the upper part this uppermost part is known as manubrium below the manubrium this is the body of sternum and this is small tip is known as zephyd process now there is a very important landmark on the anterior surface and this is known as supra sternal notch now supra means above above the sternum if you will see now here in this area you are having the notch now this supra sternal notch which is present in this part of your anterior chest wall is lies between the two clavicle so sometimes it is also known as interclavicular area then the next is you have the sternal angle now sternal angle is known as angle of lewis now angle of lewis is very important landmark which actually represent the junction of of the manubrium and the body of your sternum now this line which you can see here is the joint line and this joint line is actually known as manubrio sternal junction and it is having very famous name is known as angle of lewis or it is also known as sternal angle now this angle is having very important uh, relations with the structures which are present in the chest cavity for that you can refer my video on sternal angle now below that in the midline you are having one more joint in the lower part that is in the between the zephyd process and the body of sternum this is known as zephy sternal joint now this zephy sternal joint is a lower joint and the manubrio sternal joint is the upper joint then you have one more important structure on the anterior surface now here you can see that the ribs are not directly making joint with this sternum here you can see this these are the cartilages and these cartilages are known as costal cartilages and with the help of these costal cartilages you are having the joint between the ribs and the sternum so here you can see that every rib which is going to make joint with the sternum is having a indirect connection with the help of these cartilages and these are known as costal cartilages now in during this uh, articulation with the costal cartilages you can realize that if you start counting this is the first second third fourth fifth sixth and seventh that means only the seven cartilages are going to articulate directly with the sternum then if you will go below you will realize that ninth eighth ninth and tenth the three cartilages are articulating with the seventh and then with the help of seventh they are approaching the sternum while remaining two lower ribs are free and they are not approaching to the sternum now there is a one more important bony landmark and that is the spine of thoracic vertebra now if you go posteriorly now posteriorly you are having the thoracic vertebrae now these vertebrae are having a small projection and this projection is known as spinous process so the spinous process are present in midline in the posterior side and below the spine all the thoracic spines can be palpated in the midline on posterior side so this is important to understand that whenever you are reading the thorax you should first have idea about the bony landmark so what are the bony landmark this is the supra sternal notch this is junction of manubrium and the sternum which is known as sternal angle this is junction between the zephyd process and the sternum these are the costal cartilages and posteriorly you will have the spines of thoracic vertebrae clear so this is all for today's class thank you